So I forgot to turn the camera on, we only got to the pub last night. We stayed in the pub um, probably until about half six and then come back on ourselves to pitch up for the night and we were going to pitch up over there and then we decided for this spot instead. The sunset wasn't anything special, it clouded over quite quickly and then it rained a little bit last night. So I sleep in the tent, Trina sleeps in the car, and we both get a comfortable night's sleep. And this morning, we've had my wet wipe wash, and now I'm ready to go. Crack Haven to Tinder. Take two. Yesterday, it absolutely tipped it down. So I didn't walk to Tin Hazel, I went to the pub and I did some stuff on the laptop. And then we slept in the same spot again last night, but because it was raining, I slept in the back of the car. Now, now I'm gonna walk to Tintagel. Now I'm gonna walk to Tintagel, because it's sunny. This is a beautiful little beach with some good waves. So the reason I didn't want to do this walk yesterday, well, there's two reasons really. One, because it was absolutely pissing down of rain the whole day. And um, that way. And um, yeah, so it was pissing down of rain the whole day and we had nowhere to stay that night. So I didn't want to be soaked wet through and have to like sleep in the tent or the car. Secondly, it was pissing down with rain and it was like really cloudy and misty. I didn't really want to get, didn't really want to get lost. And um, oh, one day off, I can't even walk up a slope. I didn't want to get lost and this is meant to be like a stunning, stunning walk. And they, it was really misty and you couldn't really see much. So I'm gonna go with that's the main reason I didn't walk yesterday was because I didn't want to miss the views of the walk because of the weather and then all that other shit as well. I'm gonna try and film more today because the last couple I haven't filmed much. Oh. So I'm gonna try and film more today because the last few I haven't really got the camera out enough because I've just been focused on like walking and missing in it to the next place. But it's so lush, I need to film more. But I am going to put the camera away to get up the rest of this hill. Already, cool little cove. Oh, I do love these hills. So I think, I think in the far, far distance, I don't think you can see on this lens, that's Tintagel Castle, and that's where I'm going today. It's a pretty long walk. hard work. My legs are actually aching. This is the first time my legs are aching today. Three, three weeks, two days in. I've got a leg ache. I need some protein. All right, keep looking at that like big building thing at the end. I don't know whether that's Boss Castle or that's like the Hotel by Tintagel. I'm really hoping it's the Hotel by Tintagel because if that's Boss Castle I've got to walk a hell of a long way today. like around about there. Fingers crossed it's uh, Tintagel. Because I'm sweating already. I just want to just walk down to this bench. Oh, it's windy up here. Show you this view. Epic, epic view. 
You'll probably see a bird from up there to be fair, but we'll check the bench. Check this out. Amazing views. So look how stunning this is. How lush is this place? It's amazing. Waterfall. This one will go climb up in a minute. So I'm so glad that I didn't walk it yesterday because it was so grey and so misty and so wet, rainy, horrible. It just wouldn't have looked the same. I'm sure it still would have been nice, but I just love it when it's like this, sun shining. It's beautiful. So I just got to Bossing, what is this place called? Bossington Castle? Boss... Bossington... Boss Castle? Boss Castle. So I just got to Boss Castle. Found some shade. I'm going to sit here and have some lunch. But um, yeah, this place got flooded about 10 years ago. 2004. 2004 this place got flooded. So the water wiped out these buildings. That's just crazy. Anyway, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. So I just left Boss Castle and just in a sign say it's 3.5 miles to Tim Tadrill. So it should take an hour and a half, two hours maybe. I dawdle along the way and uh, I just wanted to stop to show you how blue this bit of sea is. Check out this. Check out this view. Yeah, that's what I said today. I haven't really said much other than admiring the views. Two little steps, you walk up. Check out this stunning little find. I reckon I'm almost there, but look at this, it's wild caught. On awesome beach. Amazing. So I've lived in the, the southwest pretty much all my life and I just didn't even know this beach existed. This is a beach I will be coming back to a lot of the time. Why are you people on there? It's like 25 degrees. Amazing. I made it here. It's a hot day today. I think it's the hardest day I've done so far and the most miles. It is four o'clock. I left. Kraken, Crackenton Haven at um, half nine maybe. So half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve, half one, half two, half three. So six, six and a half hours and eleven miles done. Now we've got a nice place to go and stay tonight in Tintadrill, which I'm really looking forward to. Chilling on a nice comfy bed and not the back seat off the car like last night because it was raining stupidly. The caves. Let's talk to the camera. Don't look around there Mouse? Yeah? You're in bed Mouse? 
Have you? Didn't mean relaxed on the bed.